My name is Wolfgang Phillips and I'm the programmer of Droid Navtex for Android phones and tablets. In this video I would like to show you all the features of Droid Navtex. To use Droid Navtex you need a simple sideband receiver and Droid Navtex will pick up the Navtex signal directly through the microphone, so no interface is needed. So let's get started. Navtex is usually transmitted on 490 kHz or 518 kHz. The receiver has to be adjusted a little bit lower than that. In the background you can hear a Navtex station which is about 400 miles away from me here and Droid Navtex still decodes a message. I programmed an auto tune and auto sideband detection into Droid Navtex and you don't have to be worried about adjusting the frequency on Droid Navtex. But if you would like to adjust the frequency yourself you can go to settings and uh, turn the check mark for auto tune off and adjust the correct sideband and then you can move the slider in Droid Navtex to adjust the correct frequency. So we just received a message. Another feature of Droid Navtex is a built-in database. To access the database, click the pay-per-click icon on the top. In the database, you can find all the messages which Droid Navtex received. To view a message, just click on the message and the content of the message will be displayed on the bottom. You can sort the messages by date, location and message type. And you can filter the messages by the transmitter or the subject of the message. You can also filter messages by the transmitter or by the subject. I selected the G for the transmitter. Only messages with the G transmitter will be displayed. And now I select uh, B for subject and only the B messages for the subject will be displayed. By long clicking the message, you will get a menu and then you can click on share and share the message to another app installed on the phone. To delete messages, click the menu button and you have options to delete messages. By clicking on the little clock icon on the top, we can get to the timers window and we can set a timer and the duration. So Droid Navtex will start up, record the messages and then go back to sleep. The timer should be used when running the phone or tablet on a battery. Now let's go to the settings by pressing the menu button and the settings button. Here you can change the time zone from UTC to local time. A screen lock prevents the phone from switching off the display. You can also switch a waterfall and the graph on and off. And on the bottom you see the auto tune which I mentioned before. I just changed the font size from small to large now. By long clicking the screen you can also share the content of the screen to other apps installed on the phone. I have wrote an instruction manual which is available on www.droidnavtex.com. Droid Navtex is available on Google Play. Just visit Google Play and search for Droid Navtex or visit www.droidnavtex.com. We also programmed some other apps mainly for ham radio. All these apps can also be found on Google Play. Just go to Google Play and search for Wolfie, which is W-O-L-P-H-I, and all these apps should show up. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you very much for watching.